I feel as we are before the Lord, some of you in this room and those of you that are watching, you have come with cares in your heart. You've cared things that are concerning you, been heavy on your heart, decisions, maybe the way life is going, circumstances have been going. But there is a moment when we need to cast our cares upon the Lord, for He careth for us, the Scripture says. And to cast your cares is to throw it over your shoulder, that's what it means. Not to cast it forward where you could reel it back in and take the care like you would if you were fishing. But it's to throw it over your shoulder. And I want you in this moment with God, and those of you that are watching, think about what it is that's troubling you. Because I feel it. As I was on my knees, I felt that's what Jesus was saying. That there are too many cares that some of us are carrying. And that's not him. He's not condemning you. He's not, that's not the point. That's, that's the love of Yeshua. <laughs> that he cares for you and that's why he doesn't want you to care carry your your concerns come on some of you feel like you're not good enough you're not pretty enough you're condemning yourself you're single you're you're not married you're struggling at your job you're believing for your healing and it hasn't manifested come on i want you to take that care you have you have the lord's attention and I've learned something in my relationship with God. When I have his attention, man, I go for it. Cast that care. Come on, just throw it over your shoulder. First of all, identify. Identify what it is. Say, Lord, I'm believing for somebody right now. I'm believing for somebody to miraculously be raised up. I am believing for my needs to be met right now. I am believing for that pain to come out of my body, that infirmity to go. Maybe that's the needs that I'm listing out. God, I need my marriage, you might be saying, to be fixed. I need my job to go right. Come on. Name it. And then I want you to do this, if you can. I want you just to throw that thing over your shoulder. Come on. And say, so, Lord, I cast that care. I cast it on you. I'm not picking it back up. I cast it. I throw it over my shoulder. I'm not receiving this, God. I'm not carrying the responsibility of this thing any longer. I'm not, I'm not carrying the worry. I'm not carrying the concern. I'm not even going to be the one that figures out how this thing is going to happen. But I trust you. And I throw it over my shoulder. And I ask you for divine intervention. Come on. Just ask him. Say, Jesus, I ask you for divine intervention. Nothing, nothing, nothing is impossible nothing is too difficult for you I cast my care upon you my king my lord my god therefore this thing comes to miraculous intervention right now and I'll speak that out of your mouth say this thing comes to miraculous intervention not of my might not of my power but by you the almighty god I trust you. I've let go. I've let God. I'm excited to testify of your faithfulness, your love, your goodness, and your intervention. Come on, give me one last shout of praise. Amen. I feel like for some of you, the good news is when you did that, that's when everything turned now. That's when everything shifted. Where you're going to see the manifestation come. You know why? Because you're not trying to be God. You know, the Lord said something to me one time. He said, Hank, why do you always ask for things that you and your own power can do? And I stopped when he said this to me. And I said, Lord, I don't, I don't, I don't quite get that. He said, if you keep praying for things that in your own power you can do, what's there a need for me for? And I said, man, God. He said, ask me for the impossible. Ask me for things that are big. Ask me for things in your own power that you can't do. And you know what? My life has been marked of a man that sometimes people may think, well, golly, that's reckless. No. Not when God's leading you. Amen? 
but some of you, you just let go and it, it caused God's intervention to come now and things are going to begin to shift.